In this video, we are going to look at how to clean up your courses in Schoolbox so that you can make the most of a new course workflow in V16. We are first going to explain what exactly is a course in Schoolbox and then we are going to look at how you can remove courses from within courses. Firstly, it's important to understand how a course is defined in Schoolbox. You might have your own understanding of what a course is, but this could be different to how it is technically defined in Schoolbox. In Schoolbox, we understand a course to be a sequence of work taught across a time period, such as a semester or year. Courses are comprised of units of work. For example, my Year 9 English course includes units called Persuasion and the Media, Romeo and Juliet, and To Kill a Mockingbird. In Schoolbox, a course is technically defined by whether it contains unit pages with a course builder component on them. So in the previous example, in order for Year 9 English to become a course, the unit pages must contain course builders. When a course builder is added to a page, it becomes a unit page, and the page above it becomes a course page. This is indicated by the green three-dot icon. If you see a course icon beneath a course icon, this means that you have a course within a course. The issue with this is that when you search for the course, you will only be able to find the top-level course and not any courses stored beneath it. The reason that there is a course within a course is because there are pages with a course builder on them that shouldn't have a course builder on them. For example, the top-level folder English should not be a course. English is the faculty that contains different courses and should therefore be a container of courses not a course itself. English has a course icon because one of the pages beneath it contains a course builder, making it a unit page. So, I need to locate the page with the course builder by going through each page underneath the English folder. I've located the course builder on the unit three and four English page. Because the Unit 3 and 4 English page has a course builder, it has been technically classified as a unit page. Really, it should be a course page. So, I will remove the course builder to ensure it is no longer a unit page. Now, when I return to the resource tree, you will notice that English no longer has the course icon. It is now just a folder containing the courses for the English faculty. If the course icon is still present, you may need to go through other pages and remove all course builders. Another common problem we see is where unit pages are courses within a course. For example, in the Year 9 French course, there are four units. However, Unit 3 also has a course icon. This means one of the subunit or topic pages beneath it must contain a course builder. Again, we need to go through each page until we locate the course builder. Once you've removed the course builders from the subpages, Unit 3 will no longer be a course. If the course builder icon remains and you've been through each page, it might be that a course builder has been removed, but its contents have not been deleted. In that case, you need to return to each page and add the course builder component. If the course builder component is empty, you can remove it and move on to the next page. If the course builder contains quizzes, tasks or due work, you need to delete this content and then remove the course builder. If a course builder contains quizzes, due work or tasks, you need to make a decision about what to do with this content. For example, Year 9 Humanities should be the course, but at the moment it is acting as a unit page because it contains a course builder. This is why the Humanities folder has a course icon. When I go in to look at the course builder, I notice it already has some content. 
So you have three options here. Firstly, you can delete the content and remove the course builder. Or you can migrate the content to another unit page. Finally, you could move the page in the resource structure so that it becomes a unit page. This might also require you to add a course page. I will now go through these three options. Firstly, deleting the content and removing the course builder. This option is easy. Simply click the bin icon next to each task, quiz or due work, then click the cross icon in the header to remove the course builder. It is vital that you remove all content before removing the component. Removing a component does not remove its contents. So if you don't delete the content, then the page will still register as a unit page. The downside to this option is that you lose any assessments, quizzes or tasks that you have set up. So I would only use this option if the content is easily replaceable or no longer needed. The second option is to migrate the content to another unit page. There is no easy way to migrate all content in a course builder in one go. You'll have to do each quiz, do work and task separately. However, this doesn't mean you have to recreate everything. Looking at the content in this course builder, I noticed that the quiz and the due work are relevant to the topic Ancient Egypt. So first, I'm going to create a unit page under Year 9 Humanities to house the Ancient Egypt due work and quiz. I will then work through the content of the course builder on the Year 9 Humanities page to migrate it to the appropriate unit page. Quizzes and rubrics can be exported. To export a quiz, click Modify and then scroll to the bottom and click Modify Quiz. Click the three dots in the top corner and select Export. This will download a file that can be imported later on another course builder. So you don't need to recreate the quiz again. On the Ancient Egypt unit page now, I will import the quiz by clicking New Quiz and then selecting the three dots in the top corner and selecting Import from XML file. Back on the Year 9 Humanities page, I want to move this due work task to export a rubric on a due work, click the Modify button and then scroll to beneath the rubric and click Download Rubric. This will download a file that can be imported onto the due work you create on another course builder. The other content on the due work, such as the title, description, files, etc., will need to be added manually. For this, I recommend opening two pages side by side to copy easily. Tasks will need to be reproduced on the new page. Once you've moved all content, you will need to delete all content in the course builder and then remove it. This will mean that the page is no longer a unit page. Back in the resource browser, you will now notice that Year 9 Humanities now has the green course icon. This means one of the pages underneath contains a course builder, making it a unit page. If you have a lot of content that belong to the same topic in the course builder, an easier option for you might be to move the folder in the resource structure. For example, the Year 9 Humanities course builder contains two tasks that are relevant to the unit Ancient Egypt. Rather than creating a new page and moving the due work and quiz across, I could instead create a new course page for this unit to live beneath. First, I am going to rename this page to the name of the unit that I want it to become. To rename a page, click the three dots and select Modify Folder. Then type the name you wish to change it to and 
click Modify Folder. Now I need to add a course level page to live above this Ancient Egypt unit page. This will belong under the Humanities faculty. To add a page, click Add Folder and then give your folder a name. You can choose whether this is a page or a folder by giving it a template. In this case, I want it to be a landing page for the course, so I will give it the course template. The templates available will differ from school to school, so you may see different options to what I have here. Once you've finished, click Create Folder. Back in the resource tree, I need to move my newly named Ancient Egypt page to live beneath the newly created course page. To move a page, click and drag it into the area you wish to move it. After refreshing the browser, you will see that by moving the Ancient Egypt unit page, which contains a course builder, to beneath the Year 9 Humanities page, I've made the newly created Year 9 Humanities page a course page. This option works well if a course builder contains due work, quizzes and tasks that are mostly to do with one topic. Once you have cleaned up your courses, you can then start using the new course workflow to add new units, tasks, quizzes and due work, and to import courses to classes.